Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another on location beer review here at the wharf in Oblog. And we're going to be looking at a pint, another pint of Cask Ale. And this is from Thornbridge, which is one of the new upcoming breweries in Britain. And this is their St. Petersburg. Uh, it's an imperial stout on 7.7%, so it's kind of traditionally English. It's almost pitch by color. It's, yeah. it's quite dark on the camera, I know, I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> the best we can do right now. Uh, but it's a dark... It's black. Oh, no, I, I do, you, you get a little bit of ruby red nose yeah. in there. But, yeah, a little uh, off-white, lightly tan head that took up your aroma. A lot of dark fruit. Yeah. It's a very dark fruity uh, beer. Kind of nuts as well, not nutty. Yeah, nutty. Yeah. Roasted malt. Yeah, a little bit of a, maybe like cherry kind yeah. of. A little bit vinous, actually, like a red grape. Actually, yeah. But not too much roast and not really any coffee. Uh, maybe a little bit of like a sweet licorice. Yeah, a little bit of toffee kind of. Yeah, toffee definitely. And again, a little bit of a buttery sensation. Yeah. Roast is kind of mild, but uh, it smells pretty okay. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, a lot more flavor and bigger body than you're used to from getting cat scale. <laughs> Medium to full body. Yeah. And not really full, but medium to full. Well, that aroma really fools you. Yeah, really. The aroma is well, muted. Very muted, yeah. It reminds me a little bit something along the lines of the Samuel Smith Imperial style, yeah. maybe? Just not as roasty. Yeah, but this has, definitely has some roasts. Yeah. You yeah. do get the roasted malt, uh, some dark fruity kind of notes. Um, Kind of like burnt note in there too. Yeah. And then like the toffee, burnt caramel. Do get more of a licorice flavor. Yeah. Um, a little, little bit of the buttery sensation though. Yeah. Thiacetol. A lot of dark fruits. Uh, yeah. A little bit of an ashy aftertaste. Oh yeah. This is a pretty good like traditional English imperial stuff. Uh, I'd say. Uh, not a mind-blowing imperial style, but it's, I'd say this is something along the lines of like a uh, uh, Samuel Smith imperial style. Yeah. I think it's pretty good, actually. And it's also good. Yeah. Uh, on cask, it's quite nice if you get it on the cask. Um, I mean, Thornbridge is one of the newer, upcoming British breweries. Uh, we've yeah. had their Kipling and uh, Jack Horn cask. I think I like the Kipling a little better because it's got Nelson Sauvé in it. Yeah, but I love Jaipur. But Jaipur is also so really good. But I think I prefer those two over this one though. Yeah, but this is a great closure beer, kind of. Yeah, a lot of we have one more beer, yeah. you, which we brought here. But, yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's an awesome beer to kind of close with. Uh, in the, like, uh, a little bit of a coffee, dark chocolate yeah. note to, to, to it. Not the biggest, most complex imperial stout. Uh, but still really, really nice on the cast. Maybe some figs. figs. Yeah, the dark fruit. Yeah, yeah, so uh, Rating-wise, for me, I'm going to give this a solid 80. It's a pretty darn tasty imperial style. But you can't get better. Yeah, I'm going 82. Uh, it's a little better than the uh, smugglers. But yeah, I prefer was, this over smugglers yeah. too. But smugglers Even though the smugglers is really limited and all. I actually perform Thornbridge, St. <laughs> Peter. But that's also because Thornbridge is a lot more innovative. Yeah. But uh, this won't knock you out, uh, knock your socks off, as the smugglers will. But anyways, this is a great cosplay, and right? it is. Yeah, really definitely worth picking up. Picking up. Definitely, if you like it, like a traditional English kind of imperial stout with the more roasty flavors. And all. Yeah. And not like huge in your face. Worth picking this up. This is balanced, sure. just like any other cosplay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, a little more aggressive, I'd say. Ah, yeah. Because it's. But yeah, an 80 for me, a 82 from Jakob, Bloody Thornbridge. So you, can, you can see the logo at all. <laughs> Thornbridge, um, St. Petersburg Imperial Stop says here on the back. Innovation, passion, knowledge. Uh, yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please let us know, let us know what you think about the uh, St. Petersburg Imperial Stop from Thornbridge if you've had it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in the beer review.